and this is the best way to construct your eyes and to to do the eye in the frontal view which is what we're going to be exploring to begin with we just come over here and we're going to draw a large sphere and a small sphere and from that you're going to conceptualize a line that just wraps around imagine a line that wraps around that sphere okay so once you have that imagine another line on top now it doesn't have to be consistent with the edge of that sphere depending on your model but we're just going to make it close to that and it wraps again around the sphere okay now this is where a lot of students fail and it's conceptualizing another a smaller sphere and that goes it slightly overlaps the lid will usually be right over you can make it a little bit higher or a little bit lower but it should never the eyeball should never be dead center why because usually if you do that the eyeball will look like a scare like the person scared so you want to talk about the expression of the eye it's so important in portrait drawing so you just come over here and you just overlap so the sphere is going underneath okay so once we have this okay i'm going to take my rag just soften this drawing up okay and Now I'm going to switch to my pencil. That's the beauty of Divine Charcoal. You have a very forgiving material that allows you to do just an initial lay-in with your rag. You could just take that drawing back. You're not going to fully erase it, okay? And you could switch to your pencil, your sharpened pencil. And from there, you could start modeling and getting it more accurate. Now, I'm going to just use the side of the pencil to get a darker line and a thicker line. The light's coming from above, and this is gonna be a light plane. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna do this with, you're gonna need your white pencil, okay, to do this. I'm gonna just take some light, and put it right on that lid, and this will give the eye a lot of form. Okay, and, okay so we have a top lid, and as the eyes turning to its side okay it's not going to catch so much light anymore and it's, this will be much darker okay. now the top lid usually is to be very thin or it could be let me make it slightly thinner meaning the distance from here to here i'm going to just go ahead and do another another sphere inside and this usually depending on the expression of the sitter could be very very large or very very small that makes a huge difference as well if you make this very very large well it's usually the person's very attentive or if it's very very small well the person's tired or so be aware of the, the circumference of how big the relationship between these two spheres because that determines the eye. Now, if the eye is really dark, which I'm going to make a very dark eye here. Imagine, so if the light is coming from here, now we have a sphere that is going to have a side that is covered in shade. So I'm going to put this side in shade, okay, as well. I'm going to push this dark slightly. But before I do that, now I'm going to do, an, with my eraser, I'm going to do another overlap, okay? And the bottom lid is usually a plane of light. And I'm going to overlap it slightly, okay? So I'm going to erase, and imagine that I'm erasing some of this. I'm going to, and this comes underneath, this wraps around, but you're not going to enclose the eye, the bottom lid in line, meaning you're not going to do a line from here to here what you're going to do is you're going to stop around right there now this is a trick that i've learned from a lot of great painters they never enclose hardly ever enclose the eye in line what does that mean 
they don't finish the line from here to here. They leave it pretty much open, meaning that the eye, your eyeball, is sort of exposed. So, I mean, this there's it's not being closed in. Now I'm going to do a demonstration here to show you the light and shade behavior. But this usually captures light. Okay, this captures light. This captures shadow, and then this captures light. You want to slightly just slightly overlap this. Okay. And notice how I'm just going very light, uh, lightly with the white pencil. I don't want to put too much material there because I'm going to push all the other tones in unison. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to receive future notifications for my live presentations. If you're interested in the full course, make sure to check out the description below where you can find a link to my full portrait drawing course available at Udemy.